another organization that's with us. But they are in the Cody area, and uh, they, they support us fully. We support them, and we have a little collaboration going on. So we like work with them from time to time, mostly all the time. Miss Misha over there is part of it. Hey, though. I wanted to hear you. <laughs> uh, silly. Put together. They they wanted me to put together a rap. Uh, oh, I, I didn't have any time, <laughs> but I made it work. And basically, what it's talking about is just just things that we're facing. Can I go read it? The right. reason why we're ashamed at points and in, in, in times because of our our community and the area that we at, and like what like how we want to change it. And so I guess I just called it regenerate. And it's like it's like this is a list of verses. Used to see bright days, no one else, no complaints. Used to be just us, Cody Rush, one place. Now that we getting older and we see that place dividing, we can't be stuck in our hood. Reality is crying. The real world is a situation that's tough to deal with. Growing up around Cody Rush is a good description of hard labor, tough love, and no redemption. But schools like Renaissance Cast King probably wouldn't get it. It took a lot out of my heart so I could write these lyrics Because my mind is telling me no one wants to hear that A young kid from Cody Ridge is complicated To understand we went past our limitations I speak the truth because a lot wouldn't pack a sentence And plus the people that know me would probably go against it My body's taking parts in places that's obliviated Haitians destroying our neighborhood, that's regenerator That's all it was That's all, that's all I came up with right now, but it, it was just a, a brief summary about like what we're going through and the things that we're facing and how we like really want to change it. We have aspirations and goals, but I mean like a lot of kids don't have self-motivation. I believe that's what's kind of determined from doing a lot of things because they see a whole bunch of negative behavior and a whole bunch of things that destroying the neighborhood and they get caught up in it a lot and then they feel as though they don't have nothing else to like, I mean, like look towards because they don't have no motivation after that, you know? And so, like, they just get real down, and they start easily getting, like, peer pressure into doing stuff, and then they just stick to it, and then, like, they just fall from there. And so, like, we, that's, like, probably one of the biggest situations or problems that we, like, face is, like, self-motivation. And, like, once we get that, I believe we'll be up and running, you know, you know what I mean, real fast. That's one thing we're looking for. <laughs> and so, like, we wasn't, I mean, we should have been fully prepared. We were at the time, and then, like, we just changed it all of a sudden. And so, like, I mean, if y'all have any questions, anything y'all want to know, just be, you know, go ahead and ask, and we, we ready, you know. <laughs> but wait, I want oh, to say something oh, yeah, about the school, want? because he didn't say that's our school. But our school is, like, Osborne, we have, we used to have five different schools. No, we used to have five different schools, but Cody left. The last class of Cody graduated this year. Now it's four. Um, and we was actually the first school that had the four different schools in our school. So like, and I think ours was better because it prays for college like Osborne's and I think that's all I was going to say about the school. We have Anyone else want to say something? Alright.